This lesson deals with supplemental problem 2.5. You can find this problem in the course ebook in the chapter 2 supplemental problems on page 6. This supplemental problem is also called the conservation of power. And let me read the theorem to you. The power absorbed by devices in a circuit must equal the power generated by the remaining devices at every instant in time. If we label the elements that absorb power as 1 through j, and those that generate power as j plus 1 to n, then the summation of the power absorbed equals the summation of the power generated. Now, why would that be true? In the course notes, we had the conservation of energy postulate, which said that if we had energy absorbed by the first j elements, that it was equal to the summation of the energy generated by the remaining elements. Energy is related to power through an integral, dt, so let's replace this by the integral of the power absorbed from elements i equals 1 to j, dt, and then we'll replace this by the integral of the power generated, dt, from j plus 1 to n. One of the properties in calculus and summation is that the sum of the integrals is the integral of the sum. So we can exchange these two. I'm going to put this over here, put the integral on the outside, and the same thing on the other side of the equation. Put the integral over here and put the summation inside. Comparing these two equations, this term here must equal this term here, just by association, or you could differentiate both sides dt. But that's our theorem, that the summation of the absorbed power equals the summation of the generated power. Now, if we use a passive sign convention, there is no generated power, and we'd have the summation equal to zero. Sometimes this is handy in proving theorems. And this is supplemental 2.5, the conservation of power.